All right, so when a particular group is on the benzene ring, it can make the ring more reactive, it can make it less reactive. All right, so first we are going to look at the groups that we call activating groups. So these are substituents. Remember, anything attached to the ring is a substituent group. So the activating groups, these are substituent groups. I can just say substituents right. that make the ring Sir, is that substituent groups? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. No, I'm not talking at the moment. I'm just I'm just writing on the board. All right, so the common examples of the alpha and para directors are the OH group and the NH2 groups. All right, so those. So once you see them on the compound, they will be more reactive than benzene and direct incoming groups. 
the author and para position. The OH, NH2, and the methyl group. These are the only one I really need to know for keep. All right, because these are the compounds that they use. All right. So anything with so phenol, amine, and methyl benzene, right, these are more reactive than benzene because they are activating groups. Right. So quick comparison, right? I'm going to put three compounds on the board. Before I do that, I have to give you activators. All right. If you haven't done, if you haven't finished writing on the left hand side, just take a screenshot or a picture. I'm going to erase on that side. I won't be able to do all of module one tonight, but before exam. All of the bad topics that is for module one. These are groups that make the ring less rep by pulling electrons from the ring. Now the deactivating groups, they are meta vectors. And the main group you need to know about is the NO2 group. Because the NO2 group and the halogens. So the deactivating groups, they are meta directors. However, 
there's a point to note your halogens even though they are even though they are deactivators the halogens are also arab vectors All right, so halogen, it is a deactivator. However, unlike the others that are meta directors, they're actually also para directors. All right, so based on these two pieces of information, let me see if I can answer this question. If you were to arrange these three compounds in order of reactivity, from least reactive to most reactive, which one would be the least? Halogens are both auto para. No, halogens are just auto para vectors. C then A then B, sir. Repeat. C then A then B, sir. All right. Anybody else who want to share their answer? C A B. Right. I agree. All right. Good. C A B. Yeah, C A B is correct. So as we said, the chlorine is a deactivator, so it would make the, it would make the ring less reactive than the regular benzene. So, so clearly, benzene is more reactive than chlorobenzene, whereas the methyl group is an activating group. So it will release it, it will release electrons to the ring. So we just put a little arrow on it, pointing to the ring, to show that it releases electrons to the ring, whereas the chlorine is pulling a chance from it. So we just join our point in towards chlorine. This, a question similar to this was on a past paper. I don't remember which one. All right. Could you please repeat that? As in why it's C then A then B? Yeah, sure. All right. So, I thought, so remember, so CA3, what kind of group is it? Activating or deactivating? For the person that asked. Activating. Right. So that means once it's it, once it is an activating group, it is going to make the benzene ring more reactive. So it has to be more. B is more reactive than A. The chlorine is a deactivating group. It is going to make the ring less reactive than benzene. So C is less reactive than A, and B is more reactive than A. It would be C, then A, then B, in the order of most reactive at the end. And out here, C, it is the least. All right, so if you get a question like this, just pay attention to which group is the active fitting group and which one is the 
death is waiting group and so by now you should know your activating groups the activating groups also oh let me ask so one more before we move on you're welcome All right, so I'm going to put, let me see, two compounds. All right, let me do that quickly. All right, so take a screenshot no, and then, and then I erase it. All right, so I'm going to erase it now. If I am adding Dr to these compound A and B, I want to, I'm going to label the positions. You tell me your answer. So I'm going to label it A, B, C, A, B, C. So in compound A and B, if I want to add Domain to it. I want you to tell me where the domain would go if it's A, B, or C in compound A and in compound B. Which of the positions? Sure. Yes, go ahead. Sir, could you repeat the question? Okay. All right. Let me just put it underneath it. All right, when is send the answer say a compound of a compound A? All right, let me call compound A number one. All right, so 
This is number one. This is number two. Give me a second to plug in my laptop. B to C. All right, so for number one, if your answer is B, you are correct. So for number one, it's B. So oh, yes. I want to ask a question. So the definition says it pulls or it draws electrons from the ring. So is it that it's pulling the bromine from the meta position? Wait, no, the these groups so when you want to add the bromine to the ring if this group is already present on it because it so when we say it is a meta director it means that when you're when you're going to add bromine the bromine will actually go here all right so when they do the experiment they realize that when you have a deactivating group on it, 90% of the product produced is in the meta position. And like 3% and 5% in the author and para position. That's why they call it a meta director. So once you see NO2 is already on the ring and you are going to add something else, it will go in the meta position. So for A, once you see the NO2 group on it, you know it is a meta director. Therefore, the bromine should go at the, at the meta position, which is three places away from your NO2 group. Is that clear? Yes, it is. But what about the electrons that are being removed? No, man, that is what right. makes... That is what makes... So in that, it don't have the electrons... When we are doing this, the electrons being moved don't come into play. As in, that's not part of the that part of the explanation is what makes it a deactivating group. So the so they move when you're answering it, I'm trying to answer it. The movement of electrons towards this is not is not needed. The only way that would come about is if you are explaining your answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So for B, if your answer is C, you are correct. So remember we said now the OH group is an activating group. So once it's already on the ring, if you are adding something else, it will... Oh, sorry. For this one, if you put A or C, it's correct. Because remember... Activating groups, it's not just para director, it is author and para. So A and C. All right. So that is where you would get most of them. All right. If you put A R C, it is correct because it is an author para director. You will have almost equal amounts going in the author and para. Position. Not on the same compound, but on separate ones. All right. The OH, it's an activating group. That means you should know you have to put the domain. All right. Hold on. Here's a question. Yeah. Um, just for clarity, um, sure. for Meta and Arthur and Arthur Paro. Um, directing means it means right. that it's coming in, it's going to that position. Repeat. Um, okay, take for number one. Right. That is meta directing, right? That is correct. 
Yes, so that just means that anything that's coming in is going to the meta position. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to ask that for number two now because I was I was lost or I got my answer incorrect. For number two, it just means that anything that's coming in is going to the ortho or power. Right. Correct. Okay. So. Yeah. So you can put it at the author, or if you want, you could put it at the para. Wait, that would not be para. So if the OH is here, para would be out here. Don't put, if you are putting A and C, don't, don't put it on the same compound. So you draw one with auto, that is here. So one auto and one para. Don't put auto and para on the same compound. All right. Yes, so for this question, all you need to know, right? Once it's a deactivating group, and you are going to add something else, just put it three places from where the group already is. 